Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can take advantage of some of the advanced options available in Visual Composer and specifically in the accordion element. We're going to take a look at how we can use the ID of each individual accordion section and how we can target that with links on other pages. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right now. Now I've already gone through and set up a couple of pages. I've created a page that has an accordion element on it with two different accordion sections. And I've also created a home page which we're going to use as the basis for our links through to that secondary page. So if we look at the pages at the moment, you can see I've got an accordion page and I've got my sample page which is set to my home page. And if we switch over to the test site, you can see this is my home page, a typical sort of layout where you've got your navigation, your link, your website name, a slider and a couple of columns of information. So what we're going to do is we're going to specify one of these images is going to jump through to a specific accordion section on a different page. Now we can do that quite easily because whenever you create a new accordion element with Visual Composer, it's automatically assigned a unique ID. Now you can change those IDs, but the only rule here is that you make sure that if you create your own individual IDs, they have to be unique. If you have two with the same name, then you're going to have a confusion and it's not going to link through to that because it doesn't know which one's which. So ensure that if you do override the default information that's put in as part of Visual Composer, that you make sure that you always put in a unique identification name and or number. So let's take a look at how we do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the accordion section first of all, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to those unique identifiers. So you can see this is a typical accordion section based within Visual Composer. And if we open up any of the yellow elements which target the individual accordion sections, not the content within, if we click to edit that, you'll see one of the things we have is a section ID. Now this section ID, like I say, is unique and it's automatically generated by Visual Composer, but you can, if you want to, put more uh, meaningful names in there. Like I say, just make sure they are unique. So you can set everything up the way you like it with your accordion. Make a note of this particular section ID that we're going to target. So I'm just going to copy that by pressing Control or Command and C. That's now copied that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a second tab so I can just open up and take a look at the home page. So I can make sure I can switch between the two of these should I need to. So let's switch to our home page. And what we're going to do on here is we're going to make this first image a link. So I'm going to just click to edit the image. And you can see that I've got the normal image link. I can click select URL. And what I can do now is I can target the page that I want, which I know is the accordion page. So I can click on that and there's our link going through to it. So all we need to do now to make this a link through to that specific section is make sure we're targeting the correct page first of all. Then we're going to use the hash sign and then we're going to paste in that unique code. So I'm going to do control or command V and there's our unique identifier code. So that now tells it to target that page and that particular link on the page itself. So let's say set the link. We'll save the changes on that and we'll update this page. And then I'm going to jump back over to my test page and I'm just going to reload that. So with first image now is become our link. So if I click on that, that'll take us through to the accordion page and open up the accordion section that we wanted. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about, if I come back in to our home page, actually, let's go back into the accordion page. Let's expand accordion section two. Let's edit that title section and let's copy this particular ID and we'll just close that down and switch back over to the editing of the home page. Let's go to the second image and we'll do the same thing again. We'll select a different URL. We'll choose accordion. We'll put that hash symbol at the end of it and we'll paste in the second accordion ID. Set the link on there and save changes. Update our page. Let that update a second. And if we switch back over now to our home page. Our second image now should take us through to the second tab on the accordion. So let's click. And there you go. It automatically opens up the second accordion section. If we go back and click on the first link, you can see that opens up the first accordion section. So that's how easy it is to target each of those accordion sections from external links on different parts of your site. Now, this is a great way if you're referencing a page like an FAQ page where you've got a lot of information broken down into questions and answers and you want to link through to that. You don't want to sort of just take them to the default 
basic page. You want to go to specific accordion section. That's how easy it is to do. Now, don't think that Visual Composer only limits you to using the accordion widget. You can use other widgets, for example, the tabs or the tour. And what I've done is I've created a page that has tabs on it. So let's just go back to all pages and take a look at that. So you can see I've got a tab section on here. So if I expand that out and I do the same again, so let's just choose tab two for this example and we'll click to edit that tab title. And as you can see, there's our unique section ID. So I can copy that, close that down, switch over to our page and we're just gonna edit the third image. And we'll do the same again, select our link. This time we're gonna choose the tabs page, do the same again. So we'll put the hash symbol, paste in the ID that's unique to that specific tab, set our link, save and update. And then we'll come back to our home page and we'll do the same again. So our third image this time will take us through to the tabs page and open up the second tab. And there you go. Automatically switches over to the second tab for us. Well, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's given you an insight to how you can take advantage of some of these advanced features that Visual Composer gives you. If you did find it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We try to read everything you post and answer as many questions as possible. Until next time, take care.